We've so far been looking at probability density functions, um, pictures of them that are like interesting and unusual, right? Um, shapes like this that look like what we call the normal distribution, which we'll get to a bit later, um, or weird, wonderful curves that do whatever you like, right? But actually one of the most common situations is what we call a uniform distribution, which is not a weird, unusual shape. It's a very simple shape. What does it mean when we say something's uniform? when students wear same. uniforms. It's the same, right, it's the same. So it's not like, hey, this event is less likely than this event, right? We're trying to imagine a distribution where every single event has exactly the same outcome. probability. The exact, uh, each outcome has the same chance, I guess. Now, for that reason, if your probability, which is on the vertical axis, right, if it's always gonna be the same, you get a very boring shape out of this, right? It's just going to be, a horizontal line of some kind. Have I drawn that parallel? Uh, Parallel-ish, I can do better than that. i got to look at it a little more eyes on. There we go, okay. There we go. So you just have this very simple shape because the probability all the way along is the same value, okay? Um, if we were to put some boundaries on this, let's say for example, we had some event and I don't know, it has um, the lowest possible value happens to be three, the highest possible value is, oh, I don't know, what does that look like? Something like 17, okay? Um, you can tell me, off of those boundaries, everything about this probability density function, right? Let's have a think about this. Uh, what is this distance across the top here? 14. It's 14, right? 17, take away three. But because that's 14, and I know the total probability equals one, you've got the width of the rectangle, so you can therefore just work out the height. What's it equal to? One over 14, right? Like I've got to multiply by this and get one. Do you agree with that? A 14th, very good. Okay, so we can generalize this. If you have some uniform distribution, if a situation gets given to you, like this one that I'm showing to you on the screen, and it's like, and I say to you, hey, all the outcomes are equally likely, okay? You just need to know what your boundaries are, yeah? To yeah, this is this is um, this is how probable the event is, right? Yeah. Um, so therefore, we can generalize this. We can say if you have some probability density function um, that's defined between a and b, and if it's uniform, okay, what is that f of x going to be? The f of x is going to be equal to it's 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 this horizontal line, right? Yeah. It's one over. How did we get 14 again? Where did that come from? Um, it, it, it came from this distance, right? Or difference, I should say. 17 take away 3. So that's your, whatever your top boundary is, take away whatever your bottom boundary is. So we would say top boundary, bottom boundary. Done. That's it. Um, it's simple because it's a simple shape. All right? 